Pamelisa slumbers as her husband-to-be Brightmetal diligently studies the ancient words of his people, unlocking the secrets of smithing. While on a polluted shore far away, Zoroka dreams of home. The silence is broken by the sounds of bones being collected close by, seeking to breach the cultural divide between the barbarians and the people of the grove. Tacheline gathers skulls, for to the ancient peoples of this world, those skulls hold power, and power they shall need. And speaking of power, our great green dragon slumbers close by, now named Osvenir, jade in the language of dragons. Yet our mages cannot linger here for long. The area is heavily polluted, perhaps for the moment, even if it makes them feel a little uneasy. They should make use of the accommodations that are available here. Kia ora, Legionnaires. Rikon here, and welcome back to RimWorld. Mages versus the Megacorp. Where our little experiment up here has led us to find out that this is not actually how we acquire skulls, and we may need to try and do so in other ways. Hey, leave that alone. So we shall not be lingering here for much longer. The sun is rising. We must be on our way. But before we do leave entirely, Viper, when you wake up, please give old Zoroka a regenerate. And oh dear, what have we here? Perhaps the product of pollution or something else, but we have chimeras on the map and new research available because of them. Your discovery of the chimeras has led to new insights. You can now research the following anomaly project, Juggernaut Serum, which is a little far down the line here, but it is a serum which temporarily increases the user's strength and speed and allows them to recover from injuries faster. However, it does reduce their mood. Yeah, there's a lot of things before we reach that point. <laughs> right now, we're going to be focusing on incense. And our gates have been barred, so hopefully no one will attempt to leave and head outside. Well, we are going to have many days worth of food. And we're also going to have some bedrolls for the journey. For our crew to journey across the mountains here, it is going to take 1.1 days for them to reach the impact site. We could potentially stop by the abandoned biotech lab that's here, but it's more pollution, it's more danger than we're willing to deal with right now. But you know what? On second thought, we could do some destruction here. If we don't destroy it, then this lab could fall into the hands of Consumption Inc. And we can't have that now, can we? And the caravan has arrived. Let's start to get closer to the lab and see what secrets await us here. Viper, let's do another regenerate on Zoroka as well, thank you. And of course, we are going to make sure that we keep Osvenir nice and close. Tackle line, you just kind of hang behind and Viper, same with you. The door is open. Okay, we have the first part of our lab here. Oh, and you're fully healed. Wonderful. So, we're going to go through just one by one, see what we can make of the place. Clawed hands and an ancient gene bank. If anything, we could get a lot of steel from a place like this. Let's maybe keep Osvenir inside with us as well. Oh, the barbarians are here. Indeed, they are attacking from multiple angles up this way as well. Well, there aren't many of them, but perhaps they had a claim on this place. Well, unfortunately, they are still hostile against us. There ain't much that we can do about that. What we can do is get a nice little fireball off here to begin with, followed up by some dragon's breath. Yeah, that'll, that'll do it. We're going to have Soroka ready to fight should he need to. Let's just fly over here for now with Ofzunir and we'll get melee attacking against you. Oh, Josephine, looks like you had a ranged attack then. You were actually kind of throwing your axes at us. Zoroka, well, I was going to call the shield up, but no need. The cannibals are trying to flee. And, oh boy, uh, tackle line, you're not, you're not super accurate with that yet, are you? You seem to be hitting our dragon <laughs> more often than not. Well, Chin is down. A talented tailor, but a pyromaniac. Ooh. I think we'll just give you some mercy. Let's continue to explore. Well, actually, I say that, but we are still being attacked by these two here. Well then, if we can get close enough, we can avoid friendly fire, and that's, I, th I think, what we need to try and do here. Zoroka, hold that line if you can. Tackle line, buddy, just get out of there. 
Yeah, there we go, Zoroka. Thank you. They are trying to flee now. And yeah, it didn't go too well for you. Well, we have finished clearing this place here. There's lots of tech here that we don't quite understand. These gene pack injectors, of which we really won't be able to make much use of. But still, they seem to be deteriorating outside of these protective containment shelves. So, victory? We did what we wanted to here, which was destabilize or destroy anything that consumption ink could potentially use against us. No way. A wandering dragon, a wandering silver dragon has appeared on your doorstep. Majestic and strong, you could attempt to tame it, but beware though, they may attack even those who offer gifts, or we could hunt it for its valuable horns and leather, which are powerful and rare. It will leave in around about two to three days. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. It's 79 and 54 days, so it is an adult dragon. But to tame something like this would be incredibly difficult, I imagine. Carlota is very good with animals though, a strong expert. She may have a chance. We will need to be cautious, however. I have had our gates locked at the moment because chimeras are still out there. Just, you know, hanging out. Yeah. Before you sleep, Carlota, let's try and give this a shot. You're using berries? Okay, sure, go for it. I have my fingers crossed for you, Carlota. Okay. Happy clicking noises at the silver dragon. Yeah. Yeah, please. Be a nice... Be a nice dragon. Come on, dragon. She's been up all night here. Give her a chance. 8.6% chance. Failed. Well, we'll keep trying. Well... Um, the dragon's within the walls. It managed to make it in while one of the gates was open. So it's not going to wander away anytime soon. But it said it's here for two to three days. So... Let's hope that we can uh, win this one over. It's also a male as well. So that means that we could potentially have reproducing dragons. The hope is there. And we've arrived at yet another impact site. Oh, great. And Zoroka is getting some casting off. Uh, maybe let's not cast um, shield automatically. But hey, that's the shard. And it's another intellectual shard. So I am very tempted to give that to Tackline again. Tackline, you're getting all the gifts. We do have a small structure here that we will investigate. Oh, and Osvenir is hunting this uh, dromedary here, which, you know, hey, hey, good for you. You, you do you. I suppose we could help you a little bit with that, right? A little bit of dragon's fire. Oh, that didn't do all that much. <laughs> Anyway, tag a line. Let's go use that shard, eh? You've got six intellectual skill at the moment. You won't enjoy doing it too much, but that's okay, right? As right now, well, he doesn't really experience joy. It's just a strange kind of bliss for him. But going off of that, there is a chance that we may eventually be able to try and save him from that fate. We'll see. Oh, and uh, Osvenir is having a little feast over here. Good for you. All right, Tackerline. Excellent. Four levels. Intellectual 10. Brilliant. Silver Dragon Revenge. Oh, no. Oh, Carlota, are you alive? Barely. Viper, your beguiling animal presence would be nice right now. Oh, it's considered a manhunter. Oh, that's very bad. Okay, that didn't go all that far. There might be something strange happening with the breath there, but let's get back inside as fast as we can. Door, please close. Oh boy. Um, Carlota may just bleed out here. Okay, it's moving away. It's moving away. Right. Uh, everyone stay locked inside for now. Yep. No one go outdoors. This is fine. You lot need to get back ASAP. I mean, the problem is it's still going to take them days to get back here. Unfortunately, there is no way to fly across the world map. Or it, I, I'm going to make sure that there isn't a way for us to do that. Yeah, I mean, our winged flight is short distance. Then again, in saying that, if we just try and send one person on the dragon, say, for example, Viper, that's some pretty good movement speed. 2.6 days to make it. I mean, all of us traveling together it doesn't make that much of a difference. But that's still a lot of time for them to just stay inside. We get them moving anyway. Kalosa, though, you are lucky, so, so lucky to be alive right now. 
We're going to get her tending to herself, hopefully just stopping the bleeding there. Bright Metal, Lisa, you guys are just going to have to stay in there for now. And, oh boy. Um, oh no, Flo! And of course, Astral Golem, where are you going right now? You're just cleaning blood. Oh, Flo, Flo, Flo. Lisa, let's see if we can do this really quick. We're going to forbid the door. Carry Flo. Get to Flo as fast as you can. And oh boy, Astral Golem. Might have bought us enough time here. Let's get you in towards where Haney is for now, because that's where all the food is. Chimera's attacking. Chimera's attacking? Oh, I guess they were just biding their time. This is fine, this is fine, this is fine. Okay, Lisa. Oh boy. Um, I, I don't know how. Astral Golem has remained alive as long as he has. Thank you so much for your sacrifice, buddy. It will not be forgotten. Oh no. Okay, well, the Straw Golem was briefly on fire. I am just hoping that the dragon here is going to um, chill after a little bit. Okay, same time, the chimeras are just kind of hanging outside for now. No, it sounded like the dragon was flying. Okay, it sounded like it flew away, but no, it is it is still here, just roaming around, very, very angry. If it does want to, though, it can fly over the walls. Oh dear, okay. Carlota is alive, suffering from blood loss, though. Hey, at least you can eat here, right? Yay! And Lisa is tending Flo. Flo managed to survive. Oh, lost a paw. Rise from your grave? Nine lives. This animal can survive up to nine fatal wounds and come back from the dead. That's very reassuring. Okay, hang in there, Flo. I mean, we can also get down a healing totem here as well. That should help Flo out just fine. <sighs> Yeah, um, enemies on every front right now. <laughs> well, hey, I mean, at least Bright Metal can still research and these two can eat. Bright Metal, um, I don't think the herbs are going to keep you alive for long. Carlota just, just fallen asleep in her seat here. Yeah. Hey, you stood up to a dragon. That's not something everyone can say. And we've got some harbinger trees. Uh, they've sprouted kind of just next to the main one here, which is great. It does mean that we will be able to harvest this one once it's fully grown. We're just going to keep this little grove going over here. Excellent work, Bright Metal. We have smithing. So we're actually going to go back a little bit here and start to pick up some of the basic research. Basic agriculture, basic cooking, etc. Oh, okay. Okay, the dragon is no longer a manhunter. It has gone to sleep. Praise the gods of the woods. Ah yes, and Lisa, I know you want to sleep, but let's go put down a totem of healing in here for Carlota. She has certainly earned it. Quest for the relic. Well, I was just checking in on our friends here, but uh, the caster crown. This is a relic of the final fold. A crown made out of carved dragon horns and metal. Well, we're going to be keeping our ears and eyes open for any information relating to that. Oh, and as for you, <laughs> Silver Dragon, we will try to tame you again. But, you know, uh, maybe, maybe we wait to try and tame you until the others are back. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. Oh, and I, I don't know what happens to our dead straw golem here. He's just kind of hanging out. Oh, buddy. Flesh Beasts. Flesh beasts are attacking now. Oh no, bursting out from underground. And I don't think that that's the only point that they are coming from. I think there were, yep, there are multiple points. Yay, that's fun. Oh, and they're just straight up going for our walls. Okay, okay. Now, I don't know if they are going to interact with the chimeras at all. They are entities and that's a considerable amount of flesh beasts. Ah. So we've got Lisa, we've got Bright Metal here. I'm just trying to see where they are going right now. They're attacking a frame. They're probably going to be attacking this frame here. If we move close enough here, we should theoretically be able to get our spirit walls outside. Yup, there we go. Let's get that in place. Excellent. We're gonna get a lightning totem out there as well. Good work, wolves. Good work, gosh, that's a lot of enemies. Um, that's a considerable amount. The chimeras as well. Yikes, yikes, yikes. This is going fine. Totally fine. I mean, the wolves were actually hanging in there for far longer than I thought they were going to. Honestly, do we call upon our elemental defenders? We may need to yet. 
Let's get them centered here for now. We need to get Bright Metal into a position where he can actually see what's going on. And hello, okay, water elementals. Yeah, let's hope that they can do something against our foes here. These chimeras, they are tough, but so are we. And I'm thinking we're gonna have to try and race up here as quickly as we can with Bright Metal. We do have one of the chimeras down so far. Maybe we leave the water elementals to it. Lisa, let's get you down here taking out this finger spike please okay it's left that alone for the moment we have two more over this side as well i am seeing like uh ice dropping down i think that that's from the water elementals oh yeah no they're making it really really cold okay they are starting to get through here the chimeras are falling bright metal has managed to run this one off for the moment the tough spike so we're going to turn our attention over to this side here try and take out these ones Lisa, let's get you engaging the enemy here. And we do actually have a pretty good chance to hit. Lisa's shooting isn't fantastic though, <laughs> unfortunately. Hey, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, send that thing running. Meanwhile, Bright Metal, we really need you over here. Unfortunately, Carlota and Haney, they are just not of much use to us in a fight at the moment. Okay, all right. That's a lot of defenders. Um, it would be great. You know what, actually, Here's what we do. I think we open the gate because that should cause, it should cause the enemies to surge to this point here. And if they do, they're gonna run right into these defenders. Lisa, let's get you over here. Bright Metal, I want you shooting right through here. Unless of course, I mean, these are Palisades, right? Okay, okay, they're going for it, I think. Haney, let's get you back through on the other side here. Kolota, do you really need to study the Void Monolith right now? I don't think we're in danger of any of them heading back down this way. They seem to be going all the way around. Oh, no. Okay. They are actually inside. And a dire boar is hunting Carlota. Carlota, let's get you back inside ASAP, please. Okay, she's safe. Oh, Bright Metal is engaging the finger spike right now. Unfortunately, in melee, but he's kind of doing all right, buddy. Keep it up. Keep it up. Whack him with that wand. Excellent job. Okay, and we do have a tough spike still out here. Uh, more than one tough spike. Let's pull back for the moment. Come on, Bright Metal, get in there, get in there, get in there. Go, 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 go. The tree's slowing him down. Come on, buddy. You've got it, you've got it, you've got it. Door closed, come on. Yes, there we go. Okay, oh boy. Now, I guess the worst part in all of this is that these pit burrows are still here. Those are things that we are going to have to deal with. But right now, we can't really afford to go outside. Oh, come on, you're really gonna go for flow. Nope, we can't have this. Let's get out there. Let's get an angle that works. Let's get these shots off. Flo, hang in there, buddy. Hang in there. Oh, okay. I think that might have been a, a shot. Oh, Bright Metal. Okay, Flo. You're all right. You're all right. Bri oh, wow. Lisa, what the heck? Oh, it was all the scratches from before as well. But I think we've done it for the moment. Well, we do actually have the opportunity to capture one of these tough spikes here. All of the chimeras are dead but we may be able to um, get some materials from them still. Oh, okay, I guess they just kind of pop when they die, huh? I think we'll just probably try and stick to the two for the moment. Oh boy, can we get a break, maybe? Oh, and let's just get a healing totem in the room here with Lisa and Bright Metal. Ah, that's nice. And I think I'm gonna take a little bit of advice from the comments. We're gonna start putting some points into clarity, which is the rate at which all of our folks regenerate mana over time. Oh, and unfortunately that other tough spike didn't make it. But in saying that, more flesh for the trees. But also, also in saying that, we could potentially get Bioferrite from butchering these creatures. I know that we can get twisted meat. We just don't know what we can do with it yet, so. Yeah, maybe we will just feed the trees for the time. Oh dear. And it finds us even here. Pollution washing over the world. We have an acidic smog. It is caused by pollution in nearby world tiles. It slows plant growth, deteriorates exposed items, and reduces mood. Well, okay. It could occur every 44 days. Oh, geez, we have yet another new harbinger tree. The forest is hungry. Ah, yes. We finally have a little blacksmith set up here. We can start melting steel from weapons. We can smelt apparel. We can get rid of old stuff. We can make lots of new stuff. Ah, and in a bit of unfortunate news, our dragon friend has flown the coop. 
As much as I would have liked to have let Carlo to have another attempt, we really couldn't afford to do that while our druid is away. There's just far too much danger otherwise. Yes, the acidic smog is lifting. A good sign. And our travelers are oh so close to home. Ah yes, the caravan is back. Finally. And with that being the case, uh, this helmet here, you're going to have to hand that over. As our Frightliner, Zoroka, can make much better use of that. Oh, and we have a solar flare. Not that that's really going to affect us much at all. The company will be destroyed. Oh, and this ancient longbow that we have here. 18 damage. Quite nice. Who do we want that to go to then? I mean, Lisa is using an elephant bow at the moment. The lightning one seems to have been pretty good for Viper so far, and, you know, the Wand of Ice, also good. Lisa, maybe we get you swapping that out, eh? Oh, and Haney, wh what are you doing? This is, this is not your bedroom at all, no. <laughs> this is Soroka and Viper's room. Finally, a bed for the two of them. Like he already had this bed assigned to him, he just decided that this was also his room. Which is weird because I feel like he was sleeping on the floor here when he first arrived. This is nice though. Carlota and Osvanir are reunited. They are bonded after all, so... <sighs> we missed one opportunity with a dragon. I'm sure we will have another. Okay, travelers need aid. A group of travelers, including a child, are approaching looking for help. The travelers are begging for 700 silver so that they can buy back a friend who was recently kidnapped. <sighs> 700. So this is them down here. Okay. Archists. Oh, okay. And one of them is actually a shaman. Huh. Maybe we can try and give something. Oh, we actually have a considerable amount of silver. We can, we can afford 700. There we go. Um, you handed that off okay? Oh no, yeah, you have to do it. <laughs> Over a few different attempts. It is a lot of silver to carry. And yeah, okay. They have accepted and they are moving on. Thank you, Viper. Thank you. Okay, we have completed our incense research. So heading back into our regular anomaly research here, I think we're going to have a look at maybe biopherite shaping next, before we look at void provocation or anything else like that. Oh, no, actually, yeah, we will be restricted with some of this stuff. Electricity. We don't have electricity. So void provocation is probably the best that we can do for the moment there. I cannot believe I forgot. But we have pit burrows here, so we're going to be absolutely sure to get those filled in. And I think that's probably going to be a tackle line job. Tackle line, you're playing Hoopstone? I guess your recreation is abysmal right now, but that's not really affecting your mood, is it? Yeah, his mood is very, very high. Well, it looks like he is on it. He's got Osvenir watching his back for now. Oh, well, now might actually be a good opportunity to try and... Uh, harvest some of this hornet honey while the hornets seem to be very dead. Oh, and just so that they have some weapons, I think we're going to get Haney. We could get you equipping the adamantine spear, but then again, the elephant spears are rather good. As for Carlota, we're probably going to just try and keep you out of combat as much as possible, unless maybe you're on the back of Osvanir. We've been learning as much as we can about our basic cooking at the moment. We're going to get grill and maybe baking next before we start to move along here. And I think because of that, we're probably going to have to try and improve our kitchen quarters. We may want to actually try and put them kind of next to our main dining hall here. So we could still have this as the butchery space, but have the kitchen up here somewhere. Oh, and you know what? Before we do any of that might be worth us cracking into this ancient danger here see what exactly we're dealing with so we've got the crew out here ready to deal with whatever is on the other side oh insects interesting okay and they do seem to be enemies of ours we have some exalted medicine down here and a rebirth potion that's interesting that will really have to make sure we keep secret and safe and a bio mutation pulsar 
a one-way Broadway psychic effector created from a dark architect shard. The device creates a pulse that reshapes the musculature of every animal within the region, turning them into terrifying creatures. Animals under your control will not be affected. Good worst case scenario thing, maybe? And we do have sarcophagi here, as well as an ancient loot chest. Okay, Zoroka, it looks like- oh, oh, no, they are- they are indeed aggressive. What are you doing attacking here, huh? Let's get the spirit wolves in here. Um, we'll actually get them attacking from behind if we can, Lisa. Uh, just like so. Let's get shield cast. And let's get some spirit wolves in here, huh? There we go. Tackleline, thank you for joining. Tackleline actually has spirit wolves of his own, but I don't think we're going to need them right now. They all seem to be doing a fantastic job. Oh yeah, take the hive down. <laughs> thank you very much, wolves. Are they sweeping? The wolves? Are sweeping. Um, I let's just say they're, they're licking up the insectoid remains there. Uh, I'm assuming that's what's happening. Okay, so while we still have everyone here, I think we will keep people drafted. Let's first of all see what is in the treasure chest down here. Zoroka, let's go open this thing. And we have nothing? No, we have a tech print for cataphract armor. Okay. Carlota, maybe that's something that we can get you studying. Not that I think we're going to fully utilize that. We'll see. But as for the other mysterious sarcophagi here, um, maybe be back over by the door. Yeah, I think that'll be safer. Oh boy, they're aggressive. Ah, uh, yeah, they're aggressive and they have gnarly looking weapons. Tackleline, spirit wolves, please. As soon as possible, buddy. Yep, that's good. Now you back out. And Lisa, let's get a lightning totem in there, please, as soon as you can. Oh, good work, everybody. Zoroka, charge them down, thank you. The wolves are helping. Zoroka is living. Okay. Okay, we've got this under control. Zoroka, nothing missing. That's, that's good. That could have gone way worse. So let's get Zoroka over here. Let's get a healing totem put down by Tackerline. That will help us there. And Viper, let's get you regenerating, Zoroka. Hello, Carlota. Hello. Well then, um, let's have a look at the survivors here and see what we are dealing with. Fantastic shooting. Fantastic melee. Divers here is 82 years old though, so um, yeah. Not sure how much longer you'll be around with this old timer. There is Bernadetta who has decent shooting. She's 17, has a lot of passions across the board. Also has a chemical fascination and was a child spy. Uh, she's suffering from a little bit of holy wrath right now. And then we have Sparkles over here, 18. A body purist and another misandrist. Don't know if we can do with two. So Viper, let's get you, well, we're going to need a prison, aren't we? I'm sure it'll be fine to turn this into a temporary prison, right? Totally fine. So, Bernadetta, we will get you captured. As for the others, they will be finished off. Everyone else is feeling pretty healthy, so yay, that's, <laughs> that's good. Right, Lisa, let's go save Bernadetta. And then we're going to have to do a little bit of work, converting, first of all. Now, are there any existing social relationships with Carlota and Haney? The possibility is there? Uh, no. But hey, you do like Viper, I think, because she saved you. There we go, Viper. Thank you very much. Finishing them off. Now, Rebirth Potion. We really want to make sure that we keep that safe. Same with these pulses and whatnot. I think we'll probably try and keep them in our temple here. Oh, and this is dragon's blood down here? What does that do for us? Dragons have forever been known as mystical beasts with amazing strength. Some believe that strength is stored in the eyes or the claws, but in reality it is from the blood. By grinding up a handful of scales and using jewelberry pulp, the blood can be extracted and diluted at the same time, creating the perfect liquid for a potion. This potion grants some of the dragon's powers. Speed, pain resilience, fierce combat capabilities, and flame nullification. Due to the feeling of power this creates within those who take it they may get extremely addicted right i see well we'll try and grab it but um ideally we won't be taking that oh and we can actually equip these uh shields here 
with Zoroka and others. We just need to actually equip them as a shield. So we're probably going to be giving one to Carlota and to Haney as well. No way. Bright Metal is currently gathering resources at the moment. We might have enough to do it. We're attempting to make the armor of the Valiant, which down here is an impressive piece of armor. The question is, do we have enough? And yeah, it seems like we might. He's gathering everything he can. And he has started construction. Bright Metal, you beautiful bastard. Well, we've completed our Void Provocation research. We're going to be moving on to Void Sculptures next. And we've completed some Monolith Study. Wonderful. So, having a look over here, we are going to put down a Psychic uh, Ritual Spot. Perhaps just in here for now. Oh, and this, this shall be our kitchen. Ooh, okay. But it looks like we have something to deal with first. An infestation in here. Yet, Legionnaires, that shall be something that we deal with in the next. The bugs are burrowing. And for now, let's hope they choose to remain isolated. They won't have to go all that far before they cause us a world of trouble. Bernadetta rolls back and forth in her sleep, hearing the chittering just on the other side of the wall. Bright metal hammers away at his valiant armor. Armor fit for Zoroka. For much of today's episode, our colony was separated, but they are now back together and stronger than ever. Our two new colonists don't exactly see eye to eye with us yet, but we'll get them there in time. And just like Tackline, they may have magic in them yet. But there is another kind of magic. One that we have not fully unlocked yet. A magic of the mind. And perhaps in time, we will gain that power too. And so, Legionnaires, here at the end of today's episode, I ask you all, if you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. As for now, I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned. Thank you.